So we are in Boeing 777-300 We'll be talking about clock, chronometer and elapsed time as we talked in our previous video A320 family In Boeing 777, in old Dash 200 we had a separate clock assembly installed in the cockpit like in Airbus But right now in the new generation Dash 300, 777 has removed the clock Our company has opted out the clock assembly separately so where to find the clock and date timing so on the glacial panel we have to click on the status page so we'll get the status page on lower ECAS in this you can get the date in UTC and UTC timing permanently over here so this is the elapsed time we'll talk about it later so this is the thing we'll get over here and we'll also get UTC timing on primary flight display which is on the right corner bottom okay so this is the UTC in 777 there is no manual adjustment of date and time like in Airbus in our 777-300 the data date and time data is being received by GPS data GPS signal will go to MMR MMR will provide date and time data to AIMS and AIMS will provide it to the display ok so there is no manual adjustment even after replacing the battery our time and date will reset it and once it gets the GPS signal it will uh, show you the current date and time so there is no separate clock whatever is shown is on the display via AIMS so let us talk about the chronometer so for chronometer we have got one switch over here on the glare shield for captain it is on left side and for first officer it is on right side so for switching on the chrono we'll just click on over here this is just a push button it will give discrete signal to the AMS and it will start the chronometer the display what we'll get is this the elapsed time will move and it will show you the chrono in minutes and seconds on primary flight display on navigation display we'll get in the right upper top over here one clock will come and I'll show you over here just one minute so I'll click over here just see the changes okay so the chronometer started over here in seconds same thing will get over here this is the clock and the chronometer timing so the captain is independent and the first officer is independent it will show separately if I click over there you will get this first officer chrono it is separate than the uh, pilot one okay so for stopping the chrono we just have to click it again so it will stop on the same timing 32 second 32 second going 777-300 you cannot restart the chronometer once you click on this it will go back to your zero reset position the display will glow, go blank okay and here we'll get the elapsed time zero zero meter so let us click this See, it went off so you cannot reset it in our Boeing 777-300 so to restart again I'll click on this we'll get the chrono back for stopping again I'll click on this and then reset so let us talk about elapsed time we'll get it at two place first on the ECAS status page on the right lower corner and second on the left lower corner of primary flight display the elapsed time we cannot control it manually we cannot start pause and reset the elapsed time manually everything is automatic so as per the manual and as per the system it will start as soon as the aircraft takes off the, the counter will begin in hours and minute and it will pause when the aircraft land back on ground when the weight on wheel is detected and the system will reset it to 00 when this engine fuel cutoff switches is in transition from cutoff to run position that means when we restart the engine for next flight or for ground maintenance run up this is the video which we took when aircraft arrived from the flight you can see that the elapsed time has been paused on 5 hours and 3 minutes 
For resetting it, we will just simulate the engine run up. We will take both the cutoff switch to run position and back to cutoff position. Both the switch should be on run position at the same time. If you will do it one by one, it won't happen. So you can see here, the elapsed time has been reset to 00 hours and minute. So this is another video from another arrival. The elapsed time has been paused on 6 hours and 9 minute. In this, we will try with one engine at a time. So with one engine at a time, it didn't reset. The elapsed time is still paused on 6 hours and 9 minutes. So remember that both the engine need to be started for resetting the elapsed time. Hope you like the video. Please share it among your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.